are you ready, fellas? Today you can call me Jeff D. Sparrow, because today we're playing Sea of Survivors, and I'm going to be King of the Pirates. Um, if you're watching this uh, on the day it releases, this game, on the days the video releases, the game should be coming out today, maybe a few hours after this video comes out. Uh, and we're just going to play some. I think it's fantastic, and I want to show it off. Uh, Tommy from the company reached out to me months ago and gave me access and I really enjoyed it so um yeah and I've been looking forward to its release ever since we're going to start with the uh fire mine a uh, little ability here so yeah it is a pirate themed bullet heaven with let's say they are tank controls if you've played older style games you can use your mouse, you can use your keyboard. I made a video on it last week, but I'm going over this again in case you didn't see it. Um, you get XP from kills, you don't have to pick up any XP. That differentiates itself a bit from the, you know, from the crowd, I think, is one of the things I like. And then you have this node-based upgrade system where um, weapons go in the four corners. Uh, weapons have two tiers, when you upgrade them, they get massively improved abilities of some kind depending on the weapon and then they only get the effects of things that are linked to them and there's these keywords such as tethered and clustered tethered only affects chained weapons makes sense cluster uh has a greater effect the more uh linked items there are next to it and then i think chained is kind of obvious um i guess there are some that aren't chained maybe we'll see i would like to increase my turning speed I feel like in a with a build such as this, it is important to be able to turn as we want to to drop mines where they need to be. So I have in my first run of this a long while back, I completed the game 20 minutes pretty easily, crushed it, was unkillable to stop unkillable machine. Uh. I have not won since. The game is quite difficult. Um, it is quite hard indeed, and that is because sometimes things are just unavoidable, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Uh, some of the features the game has, it has a meta progression system similar to, you know, most games in this genre, like Vampire Survivors. It has a quest system, much like uh, Halls of Torment, if you're familiar with that game. Increased projectile amount. Uh, and one thing that this game really has going for it is if I take this and I was to set it here, it shows me if it affects what it's connected to. So like this plus one means that I know that this is here. If I didn't want this, I can right click it. It goes back and I get to see the same things here. There's no re-rolling as far as I'm aware just yet. You can't skip for an extra half a level, but I don't think you want to do that. So let's uh, take an extra projectile. I assume that just means that they cast faster, right? And then seemingly the way the game works now, um, as of this current build of the game, which I assume is going to be this way in release, is that you pick up new weapons in this way by raiding islands. And, you know, you have to go and you have to stay for a certain duration. And then you'll get, like, special links, uh, special, like, node items from uh, boss enemies. So you'll see as we go on. Uh, increase fire rate. That is pretty good. Ooh, we're taking so much damage right now. We're probably going to die a, a couple times in this video just a thing that happens so let's see we can get a trident of tempestus we can get anchors uh these are kind of like hmm they rotate around the ship I, i'm trying to think they're of like a vampire survivors thing but it's not like that um sabers so i remember my first run sabers really good because the upgraded version of sabers gave lifesteal the problem is, I don't know if that's really what we want here. I think I want to do the lightning trident. 
Um, although we can see that the lightning trident doesn't have an amount. So that means that this projectile mount would be useless. So what if sabers? Do sabers have an amount? No, just a straight up. So what if... What if anchors? Anchors does have an amount and it has a speed. It doesn't have cooldown, but we're still getting the projectile bonus. Um, I'm willing to try it. Uh, I'm willing to be wrong. Oh, we got an achievement for reaching over 100 projectile speed. That's cool. Uh, so now I'm going to increase our max health and also connect these. So now the this is going to give us an extra projectile because we connected that. So I think our strategy is just kind of like run away. But currently, <laughs> not great. Projectile speed and range. Eh. Projectile fire rate. Projectile amount. Yeah, we want more projectile amount. That's kind of where we're at. Um, but I want more projectile amount going towards uh, another weapon node. I think my one uh, as to not be like fully on board yet with this game or, you know, whatever you want to say. My one complaint currently is the mouse to um, like keyboard gameplay. So the controls feel fine. The only thing that's a problem is I like to use the mouse in this menu screen. But when I transition, sometimes I'll use the mouse naturally to like change the direction of my ship when I want to use the keyboard. Um, obviously, that's something that could probably be fixed easily enough, but it is a thing that matters. All right, so there's uh, the first like mini boss elite, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to give him the old heave ho here and put him in the dirt. Uh, um, critical hit chance. I mean, that affects both straight up 15%. That's a large amount of crit chance. Uh, let me move this way. Oh, we got hit. That's bad. You really don't want to get hit because healing seems to be not plentiful from what I've noticed. Also, there's like these explosive ships. All right, increase projectile speed, increase turning speed, just increase damage. I think we have to take increased damage. That seems kind of too good not to take. Ah, uh, no, bad. Trying to get that ship, but maybe we should be Maybe we should just be going straight and just like letting it burn. I don't know. Oh, turn speed be damned. Oh, this is not good. I definitely think we actually beat that elite over there. We just have to go pick it up. So we can get 100 doubloons at the end of the run. I think I'm going to take that just because, like, um, I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it. All right, so we have something good here. If only one projectile is chained, double its projectiles. That's interesting. Double the damage of weapons that do under 50. Hmm, that's a shame that it just barely misses. It just barely misses. Oh, you know, we're just going to take 2000 doubloons, whatever. I'm not even. I'm not even sweating that. Give me that meta progression. I hope you don't have to win for that. <laughs> that would be awkward. Hmm, 200. 2,000 meta progression are double our damage when we're already at half life and I have no source of healing. Yeah, this game is brutally hard at the moment. Um, 
There's no like, I don't even know if there's ascensions or difficulty levels or calamity levels or pick your roguelike uh, modifier name. I assume there is, but as it stands, the game is, seems to be so hard right now that it probably doesn't matter. Maybe at the start. Oh, here come the orcas. Them big boys. Look at look at those guys swimming through the fire. Those are that's some ballsy ballsy men right there. Um I would like to up my turn speed. There's also should be like extra ships and extra like crew people you can use on your ship. I'm just using the default crewman. I think I might have an extra crew person that like increases my health by a little bit. But I might have also unequipped them because there was a bug earlier and I was trying to fix it, but it was just something with the game that had nothing to do with the like, people I had in my party. Oh, he did so much damage to my ship. Why? Increase projectile spread? That seems good for... That seems good for the um, fire. I need to get closer to the island. But I also need to not... Um, not get hit. I think that would be important for me. Oh, jeez. Okay, what weapon do we get? Barrels, drop explosive kegs behind the ship. Great. Leave a trail of frost fire. Recruit a powerful cannonback tortuga. I mean, I guess... I really don't want any of these. <laughs> I guess we could try the frost fire. I don't know. Let's try the upgraded frost fire. I feel like that's not really what we need. Um, this is. Oh! <laughs> oh, there's a heart. Please pick it up. Please pick up the hearts. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go. Oof. We are struggling. Nope. We gotta. We gotta turn. We gotta turn. More explosive ships. There's a boss ship. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here come the motorboats. Not the good kind of motorboating either. Um. I. We'll add some damage. Like we we could have. Ooh! I was gonna say we could. Oh no, we ran right over that. Oh, we're on. We're on a pixel. A pixel in a dream. Now we're dead. Okay, that could have gone better, I would say. But do we get to keep all of our money? We do. We got two thousand doubloons. Fantastic. Let's go back to the hideout. Let's actually, like, hire this person. Cool. Um, we were lost at sea. Fantastic. Well, let's look at our quests. Uh, set sail three times with a unique weapon each time. I definitely feel like I've done that, but maybe I haven't. Uh, I've earned 20k gold in one run. Not too close there, but we got some of this stuff. Increased damage by 10%. Increase moose turn speed. Sure. All right, let's go. Uh, fire. No, thank you. Turtle cannon. You know what? Let's be real, real pirates. Cannon time. Much like hammer time. Uh, projectile speed and range. Ballistics to go with our cannon. Our cannons have bounce. I think that's a meta progression thing.
I am maybe the worst at aiming. I am not the cannoneer on a pirate ship. I, let me tell you what. I am definitely like the moral support. Uh, increased projectile bounce. Uh, yes. Yes, I will. That seems that seems like an incredibly good start. Does it do reduce damage? Uh, oh, frick. <laughs> frick you, tiny paddle boat. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know which, like, my sides of a boat. Aft, starboard, all the nonsense. I don't, it's not nonsense, but I just don't know. I'm very bad with it. I don't remember, so not even gonna try. Them their shields, fancy shields. We need we need range up for this. All right, we're we're getting some stuff done though. All right, we already have one bounce. We have move speed, projectile speed, fire rate. Fire rate seems probably like something I'm interested in. When is attack speed ever bad in these games? Although this game functions a little bit differently than the others. Uh, projectile speed and range. I would like it. More hitting is good. Need the bullets to collide. Or I guess they're cannons, not bullets. Let's be real here. I want to see what the other boats are like, too. Like, I, I need to... Need to get that. Um, armor, damage, fire. What if we just increase the rate of fire by, like, 20%? That seems like a really good... I really like the node upgrade system. Like, I, I cannot stress that enough. I think it's very cool. Would not mind seeing another game um, adopt it. Turning speed, chance to crit. Let's just take that here. You see that that was a case of that where the mouse was kind of uh, taking over. All right, let's see if we can get down to this other weapon over here. So I guess we're going to want things that can bounce. Like that's logically what we want, but maybe I'm thinking about it too much and like trying to have weapon synergy and maybe I should be trying to cover up my weaknesses. Um, increase projectile spread. That makes sense. Uh, health, doubloons, let's take health. Health seems nice, considering. Shoot down that ship, Mr. Bond. Mr. Gorbachev, something like that, I don't know. Basically the same person. I don't know. That's not, I mean, I don't feel like Nixon is not the same as... That. Also, I don't think that was Nixon. I think I'm just saying words now. Anyways, look, uh, I'm gonna take some attack speed and <laughs> I'm gonna take some attack speed. Oh, oh boy. We're gonna take some attack speed and we're gonna we're gonna raid this and this thing do bounce. Cannonballs shrapnel on hit. Um, that's cool. Let's take the trident. Yes. Hit four enemies with a single shot. Five birds, one stone. Nice. I approve of that achievement name. Oh, we gotta get that message in a bottle, but we also have to get, um, this other stuff. Oh, another bounce. 
Yeah, that's 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 pretty good. Uh See, that's the thing. Do I need like a ram? Is that to like cover my deficiencies here? All right. What what is my options? 2000 doubloons, heal 2 health the second. I mean I mean I mean, like obviously, right? Is there even a choice? I mean, is two health a second that great? I don't know, but I'm definitely taking it. I guess with that, we could take a bunch of armor and try and make it great. There's armor. I think I'm actually going to put the armor thing like right over here. So we get a bigger armor buff. Does it show us? Um, I have to wait till we're back in that menu. I wonder if it shows us the percent damage reduction we get from that much armor. Like, is 30 armor 30% damage reduction, or is it more, is it less? These are mechanics I'm interested in that I am not aware of. I like to see if the game, you know, if these games let you know them first and then invest, you know, investigate further once we dive a little deeper. Part of the joy, I think, of not just roguelikes, but video games in general is figuring out how mechanics work. Now, that doesn't mean that, say, like, mechanics should be obscured for the sake of being obscured, but sometimes things can be a little more interesting if, you know, not everything is taught to you through, you know, a tutorial and you're just like left to your own devices. So we're obviously very slow right now. I think that's our, one of our main main things. Um, I feel like we're doing good damage. Ooh, we just dodged that whale. Look at those whales, they're stuck. They're about to be beached. Uh, they also give a lot of XP, apparently. All right. Uh, um, increase rate of fire, crit chance, increase turning speed, rate of fire, crit chance. So we could just like jam this here and just get like a bunch of attack speed and crit chance and armor. I think that seems good. And I forgot to look at the armor stat. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, my memory is... Uh... It is not. Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's run through these guys. I don't want to get hit by the whale. It just does too much damage. Ooh, here comes the exploders. Um, projectile bounce. I mean, obviously we're gonna grab that. It does not seem to say. Okay, so we're just under a Simpson that assumption that higher armor is good. We got a weapon. None of these things bounce. But. But the ram gives us protection on the front of our ship. Which might just be what we need. Although we do have to go back now and grab that. Uh... Oh, that was. That was probably ill advised. Ramming into the explosive ships, maybe not a good strategy. Get out of my way. You scallywag, you something, something pirate slur. Um, what's up the armor? Huge armor buff by 20. Something that heals us, please. 
Increase fire rate for each missing health. Yeah, let's go for that. Can I just go anywhere? Yeah. Just a hundred percent. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> that seems that seems okay. Yeah, that lightning bolt, it's just going. We gotta watch out for Mr. Explosive Barrels over here. Man, the enemies in this game do not mess around. You got a lot to avoid. I guess that's where the ship maneuverability parts, maneuverability parts comes in. Get out of my way, whale. This is my sea. I wonder if we're underleveled. Oh, hey, it's Ramstein's shipwreck. That means I'm going to get the Ram upgrade. I don't know what that does. Oh, <laughs> we almost got Ramsteined ourselves. They call it a Duhast. Um, chance to crit? I mean, that's a that's a large amount. Oof. So this is gonna give us another ram upgrade. Oh. R, hold up. R, short speed when ramming enemies. R, we could just up our damage based on our speed. Okay, okay. I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought you had to get the uh, the weapon. I didn't know you had a choice. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's a boss somewhere. I assume. Is it this guy? Oh, you. You're in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, he's starting a fire. It's getting it's getting a little crowded in here. To be honest. I'm just gonna keep pushing. Bro, bro, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to stay in our little circular pattern here. We're trying to reenact. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 3, the the whirlwind storm and everything, you kind of fucked that. Um, is that a person on the ground? Damage? That's definitely a person on the ground. Um, let's go rescue them. We rescued Rose No Hands. How helpful is a person with no hands going to be on our ship. These are the types of questions I'm going to ask myself, like, what's happening with this guy? He's getting just pushed around by his friend while well, he's gone. Well, all of our weapons do more than this. So. Uh, wait, wait, gain 50 preparation when the player collides with an enemy. Preparation, fire all weapons for every 100 stacks. Does that count RAM? Then we have empty cargo. Gain move speed for each linked empty slot. Not a lot. And then we have ritual dagger, a ritual tethered. Double the damage of weapons do under 50, which would be just this. But then it's inevitably going to do over that. So that seems like not good. You know what? Let's try the voodoo doll. And it's just like C. Does that count? Uh, it looks like it because we got a tick there. I mean, it's not that big a deal because we already attack kind of fast. But I guess, you know, I mean, with slower weapons. I wonder if we can replace nodes.
I probably should have checked to see if we could like re-roll that or something. I don't know. We made it to nine minutes. We're doing okay. It really helps to have uh, some healing. That's what I'm seeing. This game is genuinely, genuinely fantastic though. I, I really do enjoy it. Get out of here. I think Ram is like a lifesaver at this point. Yeah, it do seem to be working. Oh, now we got the submarines. Sneaking up on us. Um, projectile spread, move speed. Projectile speed, let's up our move speed. It also ups our damage. Help us get to places faster. What is this? The merchant shipwreck? Okay. Well, we died. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how we died. I think a... I think a submarine just um, popped up on top of us. It looks like. But that's okay, we got stuff. Um, increases turn speed. She increases max health, but she also gained experience? Oh, hold up. Um, they get stronger. Wait, 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 let's let's investigate for a second, because this was 7% before. Now it's 11%. So your crew levels up and this guy prevents the crew from lose leaving. That's interesting. Start a voyage without a lifeguard, start a voyage with three crewmates. We have that now. Visit six during a little a thing, and then we have initial violence, spawn 20 whirlpools at once, raid the whirlpool temple, unlock whirlpool, well, light 50 enemies on fire at once, unlock oil, haven't done that yet, um, and then we have like all of this stuff, there's quite a few unlockables here, and then weapons, we definitely have more weapons than this, but I don't know. Anyway, that's what we have going on right now. And there's more wages, and I think there's more ships to be had. Oh, oh, what is this? Health pickups no longer drop, makes enemies faster. Oh, good, we can make it more difficult because the game's already not difficult enough. Yeah, perfect, that's what it needs. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I'm enjoying this one. I think it's really good. If you guys like it, there'll be a link in the description down below. Uh, check it out yourselves, it's on early access. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Jeff out.